Hey, what's going on? Welcome back again to another Foxtech video. And in this one, I'm going to show you how you can fix the issue of not being able to delete apps on your iPhone. Now, as you know, this problem can be frustrating, but I, I don't think you should worry because I'm going to guide you through the steps. Typically, the way to delete an app on iPhone is by tapping and holding on the app icon until the menu appears. You should then see the option to remove app and subsequently delete app. However, if you want that or if you find that the delete option is not available and you only see the remove from home screen button, there might be a restriction in place preventing the deletion of apps. To address this, you need to check your iPhone settings, so open it up and scroll down to the screen time section. Screen time is where you can manage various restrictions and uh, other stuff related to this on your iPhone. So inside, look for the content and privacy restrictions and tap on it. If this feature is enabled, it can restrict certain actions on your iPhone, including the ability to delete apps. Within the content and privacy restrictions, tap on the App Store and purchases and something along the line. So go ahead and click on that. And in this menu, you should see an option labeled deleting apps. So tap on it and choose allow or don't allow. Obviously, if you want to switch it to allow, that's going to make it available to apps, apps to be deleted, essentially. OK, so you may be prompted to enter your passcode for screen time to make this change. I mean, this is, of course, for security reasons. Once you have entered the passcode and made sure the leading apps is set to allow, you should be able to delete apps normally. So now when you redo the process on the home screen, you can just hold down on the icon and it's going to get deleted normally, right? So yeah, that's all that you need to know. Obviously, if you're trying to delete apps like camera or I don't know, like settings, you're not going to be able to delete those as these are really essential for the functionality of the iPhone. So you're going to have to be good with that. You're not going to delete the settings app, for example. But other than that, this tutorial should help you out. Hope you found this useful. If you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I'll catch you in the future.